your boy Super Mario, man. You are in the yo with your boy, man. Uh, today we're gonna be doing something um uh, pretty cool uh, with Logic Pro for iPad again. Today uh, we're gonna be utilizing uh, Logic Pro on the iPad with the Tascam Model 12 uh, mixer um, or whatnot. This particular mixer is a mixer slash interface slash DAW controller or whatnot, but we're only going to be using it um, as a, uh, an interface. So the Tascam Model 12 is interfaced with uh, Logic Pro itself, um, or should, excuse me, should I say the Tascam Model 12 mixer is interfaced with the iPad. So the Model 12 is being used as a USB audio interface. And uh, we're running all the sound through the Model 12 that's coming from Logic Pro. And in return, uh, we're going to be recording inside of Logic Pro with the Model 12 and everything like that. So what I'm going to do today should work on the Tascam Model 16 or the Model 12 or any other USB interface mixer that's out there, such as the Behringer, uh, that big old Behringer uh, mixer. I forget what it is. It's a uh, Zenith or something like that um, or whatnot. We have some Midas, Midas uh, mixers that also are USB interface and um, and uh, Allen and Heath or Heath and Allen um, or whatnot. That particular mixer. Uh, what else you got out there? You have the Soundcraft. Um, that's the USB mixer, the Mackies, uh, the Yamahas. So all of those USB, um, you know, saying mixers that are out there, you can interface it with your iPad now because uh, I know it works if it's Class A compliant and you can utilize Logic Pro with it and you can really do some remote recording when it comes to like, you know, uh, podcasting, um, uh, general tracking and overdubbing and stuff like that. Um this Logic Pro is really, really good, and uh, we're just going to put it through its paces again today and uh, do some more testing with it and stuff like that, man. So uh, without further ado, man, let's get into it. All right, man, here we are. We are in the yo and uh, we have Logic uh, Pro, or which is the screen right next, you know, saying over here <laughs> um, or whatnot. And you have myself. I have another camera on the sound module right here um, that we're going to be utilizing. But we'll get to that a little bit later um, or whatnot. Um, yeah. So this uh, setup, we're going to try it um, and see how it works and everything. Um, and we're going to try to do uh, some tests here. Now, before we get up in here and start creating and everything like that, and let me get some backing music for you guys. All right. Um, before we test today, uh, I want to address the elephant in the room. Um, a lot of people may be asking, hey, Rich, um, you know, what I'm saying um, oh, that's why I gave you all my government. But hey, Rich, because most people know me about Rich uh, or hey, Soup or hey, Super Mario. Does the Tascam Model 12 have multiple outputs? Um, unfortunately, it doesn't. Um, I hooked it up. Um, you know, what I'm saying with the uh, hold on a second, y'all. I hooked it up with the iPad, and unfortunately, uh, the Model 12 is only giving me uh, stereo out. But I did connect it to my Motu M6 interface, and I got multiple outs there. So the Motu M6 interface is a four-channel output. You have outputs one and two and three and four um, and what you're hearing the stream on is going through the motu m6 so we're streaming through the motu m6 okay and it has multiple outputs and i connected the ipad with the motu m6 and uh in junction with uh, logic pro and it read both those outputs one and two and three and four however the Tascam model 12 is not reading multiple outputs it's only reading uh stereo one and two okay but the good news is it's reading all of the inputs. That's the good news. So I'm not exactly sure what's up with that um, or whatnot, but, you know, I tried reconnecting it multiple times and um, it just really didn't um, work out for me as far as trying to get that multi output uh, on there um, or whatnot. So uh, just to let you guys know, uh, to explain my routing and how I got everything set up and far as how you're hearing and everything, I got the camera right here. Uh, what I'm talking with with this microphone right here is going in on channel three on the task cam. Uh, so let's uh, go ahead and um, get our camera uh, initiated here. Hold on one second, y'all. All right. And let's put it on the mixer there. All right, cool. So we in the triple box here. 
so what you're seeing here is um basically um it's all gone hold on one second y'all thought i had this all connected all right let's see here all right save that preset there you go sir all right cool so um what i'm talking on is channel three the music is being played back on channel one and two so if we bring this down you don't hear any music but you can still hear me uh going through the stream okay i have the main output of the mixer this red fader the main outputs is going into the motu m6 in the five and six stereo line in okay on that particular interface so let me repeat that again all the input channels for this mixer is being routed through the main channel which the main one and two on the mixer is being uh routed into the uh inputs of five and six line inputs five and six on the motu m6 so what you're hearing is everything summed in the model 12 that sum one and two is going into the motu five and six and it's streaming and everything like that all right let's turn the music back up logic pro audio is on one and two right here all right that's how we got it hooked up so let me put that back at zero um and this is the thing i hate about the model 12 you can't route your output for some reason to let's say seven and eight and nine and ten you know what i'm saying you have to it uh this standard audio is on one and two which is dumb as hell you know what i'm saying i don't like it you know what i'm talking about but um that's where the audio is coming out for the logic uh the logic pro okay it's coming out from the ipad okay that sound is coming out one and two so that is the what they call the pc playback for your model 12 it being used as the usb audio interface so um you know what i'm saying if you're utilizing on uh, the model 12 as any type of usb interface on any type of computer device whether it be a mac pc or an ipad or whatnot by default and on the pc there's a way you could change your outputs on the board you know what i'm saying uh i could do it real easy and able to live and i could have the playback to be on 9 to 10 or 7 and 8 but you know what i'm saying with the with the the ipad is only a standard stereo out one and two so the pc playback is right here uh, i wish i could zoom in on the menu um but if you uh go into the menu on the mixer and you hit the uh the the input monitoring screen and whatnot um uh, you will see that your pc return is playing on one and two okay all right cool deal man and uh i'm talking on a live track so if you know anything about the the model series as far as the task cam mixers uh you could you have a switchable mode at the top right above the one knot compressor and you can switch that from live to pc or multi-track for us the multi-track recorder all right cool deal so that's how we got everything set up we're gonna run it through its paces you know i'm just gonna make one beat tonight um not feeling too well but um you know what i'm saying i just really want to kind of go through this test um and everything like that uh, just to make sure that the stability number one is um, working really really well um with logic pro and uh this fine mixer right here if you don't have one of these these are really really this is a really really good piece of gear if you know how to use it i, I see a lot of people complaining about um you know saying utilizing it and everything like that but you have to learn routing you have to understand like how to use it to take advantage of it and uh, so far, so good, man. Um, there's a couple of computer glitches that I have uh, inside the PC for us really doing the ins and outs. But other than that, though, man, it's really, really easy. But I found the trick with using the two interfaces on the PC. And uh, I just gave you all the clue. You know what I'm saying? Running the stereo out on the main into a multi-input uh, in, uh, multi audio interface gives you more inputs going in for recording. FYI. All right, cool deal, man. Enough of all the nerdy talk and everything like that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get into uh, Logic Pro and uh, kind of play around with it or whatnot. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, turn up our main track here. And um, you know what I'm saying? Let's get to business. And you can see that track is loud as hell. So let me back off on the one and two. All right, cool deal. So I have the vocals muted. Another level, we got another level. We on another level, we got another level. And you wanna play with me, man, we on another level. 
right, so these vocals were recorded on uh, the Personas, um, what it is, the Revelator Personas, uh, IL-24, um, and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but you can record vocals in here as you see um, and everything like that. But what we want to do is uh, go and get another, uh, uh, create another track here. So let me switch my window orientation up for you guys here. All right, cool deal, man. So uh, let's go here and uh, get out of here. Uh, we're going to create another track. Uh, so we're going to go here to this plus button, as you see here. And we're just going to go to tracks. And uh, I got a couple of instruments I kind of want to play around with and everything um, to get started. Um, let's see here. We're going to go to MIDI track. Of course, we're going to start with a MIDI track. Um, for some reason, I go here and hit those three uh, horizontal dots there. And um, I kind of want to not open up a browser. I don't want to use external MIDI and uh, patching instruments. Um, I can go ahead and open up a default patch or I could choose my instruments right now. Um, whatever the case may be um, here. So let's say, for instance, I can go here and... Uh, I could choose the instrument, but I'm going to keep that blank because when I hit create, there's not going to be an instrument there. You see what I'm saying? So we can go here and choose instrument and bam, there it is right there. Uh, so let's start off with some, um, with some, <clears throat> excuse me, with some drums and everything like that. We're going to go to, uh, let's see here. Uh, let's go down to drums here and drum machine designer. Nah. Let's not do that. No, nah, let's not do that right there. Um, yeah, let's not do that. Let's do this right here. We're going to go to pattern. Because I know for sure we can get something there. So we're just going to hit create here. All right. And uh, let's scroll back up here. Uh, right here. Hold on one second, y'all. Let's get out of here for example. Where is my pencil? My Apple pencil. I just had it not too long ago. Oh, I think it fell underneath this thing right here. Y'all hold on one second. I got to find this Apple Pencil. <laughs> I got to find that. Can't lose that at all. Oh, yeah. Can't lose that bad boy at all. And I know I just had it. All right. Y'all seeing me in my rare form. Uh, doggone. Uh, the freaking Apple Pencil just left. Like. It was just right here. <laughs> and I know it fell because this damn uh, iPad fell on the ground earlier. And uh, I don't know where that bad boy went. <sighs> God damn. <sighs> all right. When I'm live streaming, the weirdest shit happens all the time. The goddamn Apple Pencil just seriously flee. Okay. All right. We'll look for it later on, man. All right, cool. So what we want to do um, is just get out of here right here and uh, let's go ahead and just uh, delete that track right there. All right. We'll go here and let's try to find uh, a kit that we can use. I like that right there. So let's just go ahead and drag that over uh, here. We'll drag that right there. We'll do a drop down. Now, the cool thing, what I found out with the uh, with the Logic Pro is right here, you have these drop down arrows right here, and you can access the mixer channel for this whole drum uh, drum machine right here, which is pretty cool, man. Um, and then it's summed into like a drum bus, so to speak, or whatnot. Now, you see this stereo out. I kind of want to let y'all validate it for yourself, okay? If you see this right here, you see stereo output model 12, it's only stereo output, okay? So there's no multi-output that you have right there, all right? So we go output here, and uh, we could do stereo pan um, or whatnot, but we're just going to, you know what I'm saying, just keep it real simple, all right, and do balance, all right? Cool deal. Let's uh, go back here, and let's uh, try to find some instruments here. Now we could play this by ourselves. Um, so I'm playing on my MIDI keyboard, as you can see my fingers here. Mm 
know what I'm saying? Sounds are very crisp, um, or whatnot. Um, let's see what else we got. We got a deep 808. All right, cool. I like that. So let's um use this drum kit. Okay, all right. So we got different um sounds here. We got some more sounds spread across the keys. Uh, let's see here. All right, cool. All right, let's get something popping. Uh, let's get a tap tempo here uh, on the metronome. All right, let's go here. All right, let's uh, hit play. All right. Um, now, um, there was a question on my uh, live stream the other day. Uh, and it was asking, uh, does the MIDI work uh, in conjunction with your keyboard? And I haven't found anything on here to MIDI map uh, any parameters in Logic Pro uh, just to get that cleared out and stuff like that. All right. So um, all right, let's go with that and uh, let's set up some loop points here. We're just going to record a eight bar loop here and let's hit record. Oh deal. Now we had to kind of go in here and uh show editor here and uh let's get everything recorded here. So we have to hit this button right there and let's see here. Pull that down. All right, and we're gonna get out of that and we're gonna hit this I button and we're going to change the swing here. Let's see. Let's change that swing. Let's change the swing one more time. Let's change the swing for some reason. It no, there we go. All right, hit zero, done. All right, and it should quantize for us already. All right, we'll go ahead and find our hi hats. cool deal so we're gonna kind of go with that we can do it on the keyboard um but uh what i want to do is uh utilize some of the functions that they have in here uh when it comes to um you know what i'm saying uh playing around with the uh the midi function here um so let's bring this down and select this hi-hat here all right all right so we're in this function right here let's go with um 32 and for some reason we got this right here and that's just not enough so let's go to 64 steps let's play that uh loop again okay so 64 steps is going to be four bars um, with this tempo all right so let's go ahead and clear that out and let's go here and get something popping with the step sequencer uh we in 64 steps so um let's do it
All right, let's do four bars. And bring that back. choking each other all right let's see if we can take out the choke okay we just cleared that let's see here we can take out the choke uh let's see here actually let's go down here I'm going to kind of like do a little repeat here. And we're going to go right here. We're going to put like a. All right. And then we're going to go here. And let's just delete this right here. We're going to go to open. And let's take that metronome off. Uh oh. Divide it up. And let's see here. Let's hit stop here. Get out of edit mode here. And let's hit play. I think we're going to record that part in right there. Um, Let's uh yeah, let's 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 do it. Let's do it. All right. And uh let's go here into edit mode and let's uh play that. Let's move this over here. There we go. Now we got some now we got some story got dog on it. All right, cool. I want a little bit of mid range on this um on this uh clap right here. So let's go ahead and we're gonna hit this plus sign and that can bring up you know saying how we choose our audio effects if you're in the side the mixer window right here so we're just gonna hit that and uh let's go with it like a simple uh eq in um inside uh logic pro here let's uh go with uh ooh, we got a vintage eq so that oh okay it's gonna do like a channel eq here let's touch on that show details Bring that Q 
cue up a little bit. Like that. Let's go to the kick. Let's get out of there. Let's go here. And let's uh go to this vintage EQ collection. Uh, let's go with a vintage console EQ. All right, we got like a Neve here. All right, cool have on that now there's one more other little trick i want to put on here let's go down here to red rock And what we're going to do here, hold on one second, y'all. I want to see my frequency here. So we're going to go here and, uh, hold on. All right, let's go here. Drop the iPad on y'all. Let's go to Tone Boosters. We can add a spectrogram on here. And let's show details because I want to see where that kick is coming in at. So right now, it is right here at about 89 all right cool so we're gonna go here and pull up that right here and we'll set our frequency right down here to about nine we we'll do odd harmonics set our hot pass up and let's mix it in Yeah, I like that right there. Just adds a little bit of bottom end on that kick. All right, cool. So we got a little something, something started right there with the drums. <clears throat> Let's get a little balance here real quick. I want to put like a little distortion effect on that hi hat right there. So let's go here and do like a little distortion. Cool deal. And let's go and stop that right there. And we're just going to go and uh, we're going to minimize those tracks right there. And uh, let's uh, get back to uh, this area right here. <clears throat> and let's add a MIDI instrument here. Uh, ready? And let's go here. And let's try to find something really cool. Let's go to AUV3 instrument. Now, I have this thing called Butter Scent. And I don't know who made it um, or whatnot. But I do have some new sounds in the Korg Module Pro. So let's go ahead and pull that up there. And let's go to the categories. And we have some. Uh, we're on a demo right now. So let's go there to the Dreamy Sense. <laughs> Like that. Mm -hmm. What's that? I'm with you, watcher. Appreciate you. Got to look at my screen now, man. I had somebody last week 
come call me out on the comments and everything. Say, bro, I'm the only one. Say, bro, I'm on the screen. Hey, dog, I get into it, man. It was zero people here just a while ago. So appreciate you for tuning in and stuff like that. So just trying to find a sound for these drums that we have right here, one viewer. All right, so um, it's sliding off the damn uh, thing I got here. So let's go ahead and not make that sterile. We are going to add some effects to here. So let's kind of get like a uh, uh, filter bank here. And uh, we're going to kind of play around with that sound. All right, and let's kind of do like a... I want to format shift that a little bit and and then we're going to bring out some take out some of that low and all right cool deal and uh we got a little Run that back. So let's run that right there. Um, but before we do, you remember we did the hi hats and we only had to do it in um the full bars. So let's go ahead and um got to copy that and paste it in place. All right. There we go. And go ahead and copy this. And we're going to paste that in place as well. All right. Paste that in place. All right. And come back here and do the same. Um, I'm still trying to learn the best way to copy and paste with Logic Pro um, and everything. So um, in the meantime, this is how I'm doing it. Just copying and pasting that playhead. All right. All right. Cool deal. So now that we got that in place, we have an eight bar loop and uh, we can kind of get our melody down. All right. And let's uh, go ahead and minimize that. All right. And let's go here. That I think we're ready. All right, I think we're just repeating that right there. So we just go ahead and see here, copy and paste that playhead. Let's see, let's click here. There we go. All right, let's run it back. Uh, but we gotta quantize it first. Shit. Uh, let's go here. All right, and uh, let's edit that real quick. Show in the editor, and again, uh, we're just gonna select everything here. Not exactly sure why my um recording here. Hold on one second, y'all. All right, that we still getting like this tinny thing um or whatnot. That should be with the interface, and I'm quite sure with uh with logic pro and the ipad and everything but it's all good um so now oh, crap all right here we go and let's go here and let's quantize this at 50 percent and hit enter or hit done and you'll see it quantizes now and uh let's go ahead and hit play Cool. 
think we're good to go. All right, let's go ahead and get out of that. Let's copy and let's um, take this um, down right here. Yeah, I think uh, Logic Pro and the interface in here is doing something weird with my <laughs> input three. Yeah, that's fire right there. That's fire. That is nice right there. Now let's uh EQ that a little bit. That's what I'm hearing. Got a little hunkiness right here. What I want to try to play with now is utilize some drumsticks, okay? And um, my little situation over here. Let's go go to camera number two or camera angle number two. God damn, why this thing keep redoing? All right, come on, bro. <laughs> come on, dog. I had you zoomed in. You must have reset it yourself when I unplugged it. All right, so we're gonna be on this um. What they call a cat pad and um it's just really kind of like a basic drum percussion pad um or whatnot and uh we're gonna kind of you know play around with some of the sounds we're coming in uh stereo output here uh stereo output into channel seven and eight okay uh on the mixer all right so um let me say this um uh, camera setting here all right cool so again the stereo output on this on this pad is coming in uh, on channels seven and eight on the Tascam Model Twelve. Okay, all right. So um, again, seven and eight on the uh, on a Model Twelve is coming right here. So this is coming in stereo on the mixer. All right. So I want to find like a ride uh, symbol. Um, um, so I'm going to have to kind of like go all the way down here and find that. Yeah, I want kind of want to add that right there. Like, So let's hit play um, in Logic Pro. All right, so we're not monitoring in... Um, we're not monitoring in uh, Logic Pro, but let me get the tuning down. So with this deal, you have to kind of like choose what you want to do. So let me hit play here. Or we can play it with our hand. All right, cool. So let's say we wanted that. Um, all we have to do now is um, go in here. We uh, choose audio. Now, this is where it gets tricky at, all right? So when you choose an audio, you see how it's saying input two. That was the last known uh, input I used in Logic Pro to record vocals. So you have to hit these vertical dots right here. Shout out to my other two viewers that joined. Appreciate you. Uh, we have to choose the input right here. So you see the format, we're coming in mono, but we're on a stereo track. I just told y'all we're coming stereo out on this little pad device into seven and eight. So we got to change the format to stereo and then come in on seven and eight, okay? But I hate that the doggone Model 12 interfacing with the iPad does not support multi-output. That sucks ass for what this Model 12 does. So hopefully, you know what I'm saying, somewhere around the way, the Model 12 gets a firmware update to 
make some changes here to work with iOS a little bit better for us multi output. But for right now, you can do multi input as you see. Stereo in one and two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and goddamn eleven and twelve. You feel me? But you can't do multi output. Only out one and two. <laughs> All right, cool deal. So we're gonna hit create right here. All right, and the cool thing about it is with Logic Pro is you can input the monitoring. So right now I am going to mute and let me get my camera angle right here. Yeah. All right, so what we're gonna do is mute seven and eight. That way we don't hear what's coming through the mixer and we'll just monitor it in Logic Pro, all right? So you hit that little orange button right there, all right? And goddamn, hold on one second, y'all. Oh shit, I'm monitored to the sub. All right, there we go. Let's see here and hit record. Hold on one second, y'all. Well, shit, I thought I was talking. On oh, you know what? I'm sorry. It's not. It's not seven and eight. It's nine and ten. I apologize for that. God damn. Mute that right there. We don't get anything here, so let's try to figure out what's going on. And let's hit the. Rec uh, hold on a second, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Should be hearing something here. Hold on one second. I don't know. Okay. All right. Oh, tripping, y'all. I'm tripping. Tripping. All right, there we go. I thought it was on 7 and 8. It's 9 and 10. All right, there we go. So what, again, what we're going to do is mute 9 and 10. My bad, not 7 and 8. We're going to mute 9 and 10. All right. And we're monitoring through 9 and 10 on the damn track. My bad. That's 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 my fault. You feel me? All right, cool. So everything that you're hearing is through Logic Pro and not the live input on the mixer. Okay? All right. So let's go back to our other camera view here. All right. And let's add that in there. Hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. Let's undo and let me see what's going on with the track. All right, there we go. Let's do that one more time. All right. All right, cool deal. So you see what's going on? It's creating a comp. If you don't want that comp, just hit undo and your original recording will be back here um, or whatnot, okay? Now, um, what we're going to do is we could, you know, say EQ and uh, let's say, for instance, we want it. All right, uh, let's see here. We're gonna put it on PC. So you can't make the adjustments on the PC here, but I think you can You can go into the menu settings and you can change the routing or whatnot, but that's fine. Um, we'll just do the processing through. Um, uh, we'll do the processing through the, uh, through the, uh, the doggone uh, Logic Pro or whatnot, all right? Cool beans. All right, so we got that plan. We're just gonna take that off of record mode and play it back. All right. And so of course we wanna kinda compress that a little bit. So let's go and go to Mixbox from IK Multimedia. blow that up here real quick let's go and get a channel strip
I'm going to put a gate behind here. If we can find one. I don't know if this thing has a gate or not. Um, not exactly of that. Not exactly sure. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see if this thing has a gate. If it doesn't have a gate. Oh, yeah. It does. We can utilize the gate here. Let's see. There it is. Now that I think about it, I don't like that. Um, let's uh, put that back on live mode here. And let's uh, find. That, damn, uh, you can't adjust the, it's like semitone, so you can't adjust in between. Let's uh, play this. Let's take the ride out. Let's take it out. Let's take it out. Got that on it. Let's take it out. Shit. It ain't working out. Let's just do like a simple crash and just be done with it. And of course, the gate cut it off. Let's see. All right. That didn't work. <laughs> so... Let's just keep the, the crash right there. Um, and let's go back to that and let's de initiate that gating situation we got there. Let's just turn that off and hit play here. And let me. All right, let's do that. Seems like it's not playing um, uh, the whole situation here. Okay, yeah, it is. All right, so we got some latency here. So let's address that. All right, so we got some latency. We got some latency. All right, so let's go to edit here. Show an editor. You see the latency here, so let's go ahead and zoom in and dissect this here real quick. All right, now what we can do, hopefully we could trim this off. So let's go ahead and split that right here. Uh, all righty, cool deal. And all the rest of this crap, we can go ahead and uh, delete that. Can we? Can we not? Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? Should be able to. Uh, let's go back here. And let's touch on that again. Yes, we can delete that. Now we can move this clip um, here to the front row. And let's hit play here. Yeah, there we go. That's, yeah, I like that. There we go. I can, I can dig that. Cool, 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 cool. I want to kind of blow this up, but uh, let's see here. Let's uh, play that. All right, and let's go ahead and just make this none, because uh, we don't 
necessarily need it. And let's bring the gain back up because we got a lot of compression. All right, there we go. I think we got it. Let's bring that down by 3 dB. All right, there we go. And we just need to make the adjustment in the channel there. Uh, actually, you know what? Shit. Let's go here and we can make an adjustment here. And we got, you got a little mixer preview here. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and try to get an 808 in here. I don't like the glide. All right, so let's fix that. So let's go back to the main here. All right, let's um, play that back one more time here. Um, just roll with that and see what happens. Quantize that. Right, we're gonna go ahead and add. Oh shit! Uh, so the good thing about this is, if you accidentally hit that damn button, <laughs> the arrow it'll automatically save it for you and stuff like that. So while we here, let's go ahead and rename that. Uh, Gonna call this a uh, live stream jam. Uh, 
Uh, today is the 30th. All right. And oops, I'm sorry. I'm just typing on the god dog on uh, situation. I hope I didn't end my stream here. Um, no, I didn't. All right. So let's call that a live stream. Damn. Uh, 530. All right. Cool deal. If it's done. All right. Cool. So it's going to sync up in the iCloud drive. So it's a learning lesson, you know what I'm saying? Uh, your, your Logic Pro sessions do back up in your iCloud drive, so be aware of that. It may take up a lot of, um, you know what I'm saying, space on your uh, iCloud drive store space. So right now on this one session is at 5.9 megabytes, all right? So we just click here, and it'll load it up again. Not a problem. Pick up where we left off. Yes, sir. All right, cool. Well, there you go. All right, uh, let's go ahead and uh, get another instrument in here. So our CPU is still low, and that's uh, pretty good. All right, cool. We uh, got something started here. That. That's that's pretty dope right there. Let's go to effects. Bring down that reverb a little bit.
cool. Um, so now we got that figured out. Uh, let's go back here <clears throat> and let's add another instrument here. Let's go with the Korg module. All right. And, um, let's see here. Module Pro. We'll try to get like a guitar sound, uh, added in here. Let's go with like a... Now you hear that guitar sound? You know what I'm saying? It's really not all that great. Um, you know what I'm saying? So what we'll do is uh, bypass. And bypass the flanger effect. And so, try to let's trying to make it sound somewhat uh realistic here so let's go ahead and uh go to amp and pedals um let's go with a overdrive um let's see what we got here uh like a vintage drive game here i don't like that that that, uh, that sound nasty let's see here um uh, let's go back to the stadium head i'm looking for a particular amp there he is that's what i was looking for Let's uh, check it out now. Alright. Alright, let's get like a compressor. got that uh dialed in pretty quickly all right bet and let's see if we can uh kind of swap around the effects so let's oh yes you can all right cool now i like that so we're gonna go in compressor then vintage drive and then designer all right cool let's uh hit play and see what happens now shout out to you one viewer appreciate you tuning in
this one. Let me take out uh, on the amp designer here. Take out a little bit of bass out of that tone and uh, let's go ahead and try to record that now. like it needs another clap layer so i'm just gonna go ahead and record another clap layer shout out to your slp ground music man appreciate you deuces to you as well bro um yeah we are on uh nine and ten so let me change that so uh let's put that on input nine and ten and we're gonna hit create so now i'm gonna go ahead and blend that sound on the uh on the mixer itself and everything like that let's play that back Hey, I like that. I like that. So let's go ahead and record that. All right. So we overdubbing. Um, it's going to create a comp for you. If that's your old thing, uh, I'll just hit undo. And let's see how that kind of played out right there. Nice. All right, cool. Um, um one thing I kind of want to test with the audio is um is this right here. If we go into edit, can we slice it up? That's what I want to know. Um, I don't think you can. Uh, no, I don't think you can, but you can split it and move it. So just like this one, let's play this back and see. All right. So we was off just a hair bit here, um, or whatnot. And, uh, uh, let's see my, uh, SLP say I do my beat production on iOS too, but using an iPhone. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, uh, you can definitely, um, you know, uh, do your thing with pretty much any device. Uh, Android too. Um, I I really think iOS, whether it's on an iPhone or an iPad, it's crazy. Uh, how you can you know take these mobile devices and do stuff with it. Uh, as well, man. So, um, appreciate you too, man. Appreciate you, man. I appreciate that, man. For sure, for sure. Um, yeah, it's amazing what you can do with these um, uh, iOS devices and how everything is uh, mobile these days. Uh, I saw a guy; he was uh, actually on a drum kit, and this mixer that you see here, it's a it, it can record audio by itself. You don't even need a computer. And uh, he got in there, had a iOS sent, and he 
just started playing the iOS synth on one of these tracks here. And, you know, saying along with his multi-track drum kit that was in here. And it was pretty dope, man. So, I mean, your device, man, I mean, it's it's getting it's getting crazy. <laughs> what not, man? It's getting crazy. But uh, I appreciate you, man. Appreciate the love. Um, what we're going to do here is kind of squeeze in here and see if we can uh, move this audio in place. We'll get in there a little bit more. Oh, 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 and let's see if we can do some old school splitting here. So we're going to go ahead and split it. Let's see. Give me the split. Give me the split. Okay, so it's being difficult right now. It don't want to split for me. Let's see here. Let's bring that back here. Okay, so here this motherfucker is right here. All right. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So here's our little slip thing. We just drag that down, and that's where it's going to slice it at right there. All right. And let's see where we need to snap this at. Let's turn that back on. Let's put that on. The, let's zoom out a little bit more here. And let's play that back uh, here. So we can kind of move it up a little bit. Uh, actually, I want my snap to to be about right here again. Let's see where that motherfucker put it at. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, I kind of wanted to. Come on, dude. All right, so right here. Let's zoom back out again. <sighs> what the hell? Okay, here we go. All right, I snap to right here. Let's slice that down. Now, let's uh, trim this section up right here. Let's take it off of this right here. All right, cool. So let's trim that up to two. And then we could take that and move it right here. I think this is where this bad boy needs to live, right there. All right, cool. So let's see if that little truncate situation right there helped out. Yeah, that helped. Oh yeah, definitely SLP. You can do a lot with these uh mobile devices, man, for sure. All right, cool. So that that actually worked, man. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, uh, so that's old school slicing right there. Of course, you have to come in and zo do a little zooming in, zooming out, or whatnot. But oh shit, I'm I'm fucking up. There it is. All right, cool. But um, you got to be careful though. Your fingers um and these mobile devices, you know, are very sensitive or whatnot. But for the most part. Yeah, and I, I just fuck, I just fucked my whole little situation up. <laughs> so let's undo and hit that back again. All right, cool. Cause I'm clowning around. <laughs> let's go ahead and move that, snap that right there on that grid. There we go. All right, cool. And let's hit play. All right. So we added a clap in here. Um, so now let's um, get out of this mode right here before we mess something up. And um, I don't know. Let's uh, let's try to add something else in here. Um, we're gonna go to Pure Synth Platinum. Um, I think it's got some really good sounds in here uh, for us. What we're looking for. Uh, let's go to. Um, all right, let me try to blow this up. There we go. All righty, and let's drag this up a little bit so we can have some real estate here. There we go. All right, cool. And let's go to some strings here. God damn. Um, Y'all hold on one second, man. I'm trying to get my iPad to sit just right on this thing. Let 
looking like for a plux. Um, I see you. That uh, that'll work right there. Hmm. Play back. All right. Um, hold on a second, y'all. This iPad keeps slipping. <sighs> I swear to God, I need my, I need an iPad stand. I need an iPad stand for the studio. I got one at home, and it's used for something else. And I don't know where my god dog on pencil went, because it was on the ground. And, oh, there it is right there. Hold on a second. Let me hit the play button. Hold on a second, y'all. Hold on a second. Yeah, I can move the way I want to move now. <laughs> All right, cool. Got my pencil. I knew it was somewhere. All right, cool. So, let's see here. Uh, I don't want, like... See uh K K uh Kaola sampler. Uh let's see what you got, bro. Um uh, see here. Uh say Kaola sampler is great for that chopping with uh which is the A V three basic Kaola sampler work just like a SP four mm four. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Except that it has faster workflow. Yeah, it is. And um you can use it in here. Um whatnot. Um you know what? I, I didn't think about that. Uh, I could have used that in there or whatnot. And I'm still trying to, like, get around with uh, moving around in Logic Pro. If I was in Nano Studio, I definitely could move a little bit faster. But, of course, this is uh, uh, different or whatnot. But, um, yeah, I forgot you can sample with Kaola Sampler with the quick of a button, man, um, or whatnot, and utilize some things there. I'm going to have to take that in a note, man. Appreciate you, man. Good looking out on that information um or whatnot uh kaola sampler is really really cool bro uh i got a beat on there that i need to actually uh get off uh <laughs> and everything like that uh what i'm gonna do is um remove this instrument here i'm gonna go back to the core it's been good to me or whatnot and i'm just kind of i'm chilling man i'm really not in a rush to finish this whole situation here um or whatnot because uh, I'm basically done. I just kind of wanted to play around with, you know, recording with the sound module here into the mixer, interfacing it with the Model 12, just to see how it works or um, whatnot. But let's go ahead and find, I'm looking for a plug type sound. Uh, there we go. All right, pes pescados. Can't never go wrong with them. All right. So we 
Ти на добре. on here i don't think we really need too much quantizing uh, but let's squeeze that in real quick all right and let's quantize that at 25 percent all right and let's play that back <laughs> Let's um let's uh come back oh shit uh with the dog scent right here uh, this is the big dog scent um big dog right here um it's got a lot of good sounds in here <coughs> excuse me type of uh situation here going on uh so let's just go ahead and all right let's uh go ahead and do that
So if we wanted to, we can go ahead and, um, you know what I'm saying, um, track this out now um, in a beat and everything like that. Um, and, of course, you can mix in here. Um, and so I'm not going to do that tonight, uh, even though I want to. Uh, I'm not going to do that tonight <laughs> um, or whatnot. But what we'll do is select all our clips here that we have. And uh, what we're going to do is set this playhead here. And what we can do now is go here. Uh, excuse me. Go here and repeat cycle selection. And boom. There we go. And you can keep the playhead here. But then you can go here again. Repeat cycle selection again. And what we're doing is just um, tracking it out. Repeat cycle selection. I found that the work tracking your um, beats out just like this. All right. All right. And let's do it one more time. All right. So now we have a full little situation right there. Let's um, make it even out right there. Now we had these two, uh, these little situations muted here. So let's go ahead and um, undo all of this crap here. And matter of fact, let's just go here and uh, there we go. All right, bet. Now we can just go ahead and and I wish it was a better way to delete these goddamn blocks in here. Um, but you have to come here and go to trim, and then once you highlight this shit, you can delete it, and then you can come here and highlight. All of this crap here. <laughs> and, uh, you know what I'm saying? You could delete it like that. All right. And we'll right click one more time here. Boom. All right. So now let's uh, play that back. played this by hand in the green my actual patterns is right here so i gotta make sure that these patterns right here get um kind of like uh broken down at the same time as well um so you have to kind of either do it by fingers or by patterns or both and you can see that right there And of course, this clap that's in here. Cool. Um, let's see. 
here. Um, we're gonna cycle that selection and uh, let's uh, cycle that selection. Okay. Now watch this. I'm gonna paste this. And what the fuck? Um, it doesn't do it. Okay. All right. That's the dumbest shit ever. Um. <laughs> I'm still trying to understand this part right here. But if you copy and you hit paste here, it's going to paste in thing. So I wish, uh, and I, I'm quite sure that Logic Pro is going to come out with a thing where you can um, fix editing options as far as drag and drop. Like Nano Studio really has it down pat when it comes to editing your arrangement or whatnot. But uh, Logic Pro, I don't know what. The, this must be some garage band logic pro type shit um uh, from the from the mac itself but they need some better guidance with this shit um whatever the case may be um or whatnot but you know what I'm saying it is what it is Do it like on a fly. this selection right here matter of fact let's just do this because we already have it here repeat it motherfucker <laughs> all right let's see here we might have to highlight everything we want right here and then do repeat cycle what the fuck is going on bro yeah it's not working so let's do this shit. Copy all that and then we can just paste all of that. This is dumb as fuck, bro. All right, there we go. Shit. All right, let's play that back here. And what we're going to do is stop that and we're gonna copy that just to end it off or whatnot copy and then we'll paste it here all right so i'm gonna I'm admit to you guys that uh i'm still learning the editing here i'm more of a ableton live guy i'm not a logic pro type of guy um or whatnot but for the most part though it's all right you know what I'm saying you could definitely clean it up a little bit more um but i think that's what the updates are for that's what the subscriptions are for and everything like that and they just really kind of collecting data to be honest with you and listen to all the complaints and rants on youtube about logic pro and everything like that man so um yeah i think that's where we at with uh logic pro but uh let's see how we can end up let's uh go ahead and delete these right here All right, and let's delete these. <laughs> there we go. All right, we can roll that drum thing back right there. And this one, let's see here, 69. And we'll roll it back right here. And let's play that back. I 
think that's it. Cool. So we uh, got an arrangement here um, and everything like that. Um, pretty cool and whatnot. Um, there are some things that I kind of want to note out, uh, especially on the mixer when you come, when it's time to come and do the mixing and everything like that. Um, you can go here and you can just have your faders and everything. So you got the long throw faders or you can hit this plus button and go into setup mode. And uh, this is kind of like where you go and mix in and you can rearrange your audio effects and everything like that. Add your send buses and everything. So let's say, for instance, on that uh, that guitar sound, uh, where is that? here it's gonna be i think number 20 all right let's go back here so we want to add reverb to that we'll just go here got like a gated reverb uh, and we'll go here and on the sands, we got this gated reverb here. Let's see why we're not hearing anything. Oh, yeah, because it's gated, of course. All right, and uh, let's say, for instance, you want to play that back one more time. Right here. And... All right, so that's the reverb right there. And back off on that decay time a little bit and back off right here. Play that one more time. Let's not let it feed back. So it's just in the mix a little bit. Now you can automate. Now check this out. I'm gonna automate the last part of that track. All right, cool. Uh, we do that there and just we hit read. And let's go back to the uh, situation here and hit play. And you'll see the master track automates. All right, so if you need to hold it a little bit longer, just hit touch again. And um, let's see here, go back here. And you just hold it down. Make sure you get all the audio out of there and let it go. <coughs> hit read again, play it one more time. All right, cool. So that's it right there. All right, now for us, if you want to export this, you'll go right here to the uh, the name of the track. And if you want to export what you got because you're cool with it, cool, not a problem. It's going to be a two track. They don't have uh, exporting uh, uh, basically uh, stems. Um, they don't have exporting stems just yet. You could do all tracks uh, as individual files. Now, hold on. They didn't have this on here the last time. Time out. <laughs> Logic Pro must have did an update in the last three days or over the weekend because this wasn't on here. So I'm very kind of curious because even Henry the Biz said there was a back way to um, export your tracks. But export all tracks as individual audio files. Hmm. I want to take a gamble here. Um, and the reason why I want to take a gamble on this just to find out is because 
when you have MIDI tracks and I have like MIDI tracks in here, I only got two audio files. So in essence, what I think is going to happen is if we do choose that option under export and do all export all tracks as individual audio files, you're only going to have two audio files. And I did the test by itself. So I'm kind of curious if that's what's going to happen. Okay. The entire project length. Yes. Uncompressed files. Cool. Not a problem. We'll call that there. Let's hit share and see what happens. Okay. And it's going to export and everything like that. So while it's doing this thing um, or whatnot. So the back way of um, while it's doing it, let me uh, go ahead and switch the camera angle and everything. Um, you had to take the MIDI file and kind of like do a bounce within the track itself in order for you to have an audio file. So as I have it as an arrangement, um, you had to do it kind of like in your A bar loop and then you have an audio file in the A bar loop and then you can go ahead and copy in and make your arrangement. But in this case, um, that was a new option on there. And I know damn well I did not overlook that, but we're going to see uh, if it creates uh, just the two audio files that we recorded in here or we have all audio files on all tracks. And if that if, if that's the case, they did a major update somewhere around the way because those little plus signs that I was showing you uh, guys on what the hell's going on here. Okay, just do your thing, bro. Just hurry up. Uh -huh. Ah, there's an end mark right there. I didn't know that. Okay, I need to take heed to that right there. You see that little end mark right here? Bam, that's where it's going to stop at. Okay, I didn't know that or whatnot. Okay, so <clears throat> we're gonna we're about to find out. All right, so what we're going to do is it saves it in a zip file, right? And we have 112 megabytes. So that lets me know one or two things. We either got two audio files because of the two blue files or we got multi-track stems. I'm hoping that was an update over the weekend a solid update because I went back to the app store because I noticed some things that was different. Like, I'm going to show you guys. Hold on a second. Let me, let me do this real quick. Let me save the files. And we're going to save in iCloud Drive. I'm going to save right here in Beats and Songs. Okay. Just going to hit save. All right. So to tell you guys, this button right here wasn't there. This wasn't there. The last time I opened up Logic Pro and stuff like that. So they're doing some updates in the background. This wasn't there. I swear it wasn't there or whatnot. So let's do this. Let's go to our files and let's see what's in that zip file here. So we're going to go to iCloud and it's saving right now. Uh, let's see here. Uh, 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 beats and songs. All right. So it's saving. Oh, it's uploading to the cloud. So let's unzip that. And let's see what the hell's happened. I told you. God damn it. I told you. Okay. So they did an update. They fixed the export stems. This is a game changer. You, you, you're seeing it live on my YouTube channel. Okay. So they did an update. You couldn't do this last week. You When it initially um, released on last week, you could not do this because it was doing an export stereo file. So now you have the function of exporting stems. This is going to excite a lot of people once they find out. So this was a silent update. Now, I know the hell I'm not tripping because if you go here to the App Store and you type in Logic Pro for iPad, you know, you can actually look at the updates if you go here and you scroll down and it'll show you, like, the date it was updated and stuff like that. You don't see anything, like, Nothing. You extend this down. Nothing. 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 That's just the compatibility. You know, saying the in-app purchases and everything for us. The subscription is concerned, but you don't see anything about an update. More. Let's see here. Let's see if it has it in there. Let's see. No, it's just telling you the requirements and everything like that. So there was an update because this shit didn't do it. Like. Yeah, it didn't do it last week. I swear. I swear. <laughs> it didn't do it last week. So that's a good, that's a very, very good uh, update right there. So you can export audio stems. Again, you go here to the name right here, export, and just make sure that this is checked off. Export all tracks as individual audio files. That 
my friends was what I was waiting on because now I could create in here and I don't necessarily have to mix in here. I could just get my tones and everything like that, get all my levels correct, and then I could mix in Studio One. So that is major. That is very, very major right there. That made my day right there, man. And there is all the audio stems. Let's just test out the, um, let's see here. Let's test out, uh, let's say 21. So let's um, do a quick look. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's do, <clears throat> let's do the hi hat. Quick look. And yeah, yeah, and it's stereo too. That is lovely. Um, I'm super excited, man. So y'all saw it, y'all saw it, y'all saw it here on this stream right here. So you can do export all audio stems. So um, if you don't like mixing um, in this in type of environment, you could definitely mix in your DAW, save it to your iCloud um, or whatnot, and you can see that I saved it to my iCloud. It's still syncing in the cloud i have it underneath underneath this folder it comes in a zip file so that's awesome and then you can extract it however you want and stuff like that so that's that's super 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 good or whatnot man so um yeah we're gonna go ahead and end out the stream um and everything like that um i'm super stoked right now that actually gives me more confidence to uh continue the subscription i'm under the 30-day trial and everything like that uh but you know saying uh i think it's a seven-day trial seven day 30 day trial something like that i'm under the trial right now but that right there my friends everything else i know is gonna come but uh they must have listened to the youtube community um that lets me know apple is really kind of like you know what I'm saying trying to make this a badass doll um or whatnot inside the ios environment um i know a lot of people have been kind of screaming and scratching and clawing and mad about um you know saying um uh, uh, being mad about um uh, uh, it, it doesn't, you know, the subscription situation or whatnot. And, um, you know, saying folks, that's why you pay the subscription to be honest with you. Uh, I'm not an advocate for subscriptions either, but, um, you know, saying that, that, that paid development, it re it really helps like for real, uh, to address certain situations that get it quick, uh, done a little bit quicker. Um, maybe Apple doesn't have the whole personnel to make the changes as far as exporting the stem. So when you get that subscription popping, or you pay that fifty dollars a year, you know. What I'm saying, let's say you have a hundred thousand people that pay the fifty dollars for Logic Pro, you know. What I'm saying now that development goes to a contract con company that can actually accelerate some of these features that need to be added into Logic Pro. See, folks really don't think about that like that. We kind of take things for granted in our life and what happens around us and stuff like that. We don't really think about, oh, okay, that's why we're paying fifty dollars a year. That's why I'm paying five dollars a month. You know what I'm saying? All that money and stuff like that goes to some type of development team to accelerate the features so you can create at your leisure and have the features that you want or you ask or request of Apple and stuff like that. So you have to kind of start looking at subscriptions at that point or whatnot. Um, everything can't be given to you for free. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you could be paying $200 for Logic Pro to be on app, uh, on the iPad but they're actually get, kind of giving you a break, you know what I'm saying? So either way you cut the slice, you're paying $50 a month. You pay for, you pay like $30 for Cubasis. You pay like, I know I paid like 30 something bucks for Aria Pro. I paid another $30 for Nano Studio and Aria Pro doesn't work <clears throat> two way for us, MIDI and audio. Nano Studio didn't have audio tracks ever, you know what I'm saying? And we, yet and still you pay $30 and those developers didn't do anything because you know, they didn't have that money coming in. So, um, and of course they're not popular like Apple logic pro or whatnot. So that kind of helps with these different type of features when it comes with the exporting stems, which was a solid update. I swear I checked my updates and everything. I didn't know anything. Uh, but you know, unless I'm sleeping under the rock, I did not know it was doing the audio individual files and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool right there, man. Yeah. So, um, that's pretty good right there, man. So, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get up out of here tonight. Um, we kind of played around here enough um, or whatnot. We're approaching our um, our two-hour mark and everything like that. So I appreciate you rocking with me um, and, and Logic Pro. Um, again, you know what I'm saying? I showed you guys um, what this um, 
DAW can do some more. Uh, we interface it with the Tascam Model 12. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't do multi output, but you could definitely, um, you know, saying do multi in stereo and mono. So uh, if you had the Model 12, you could get 12 inputs going into Logic Pro, but you can only get one and two or a stereo mix going out. Um, I'm quite sure it's going to be the same on the Tascam Model 16 and the 24, um, but you can track your whole band with your mixer. Now, other mixers may support the output the multi output on the ios system but i'm quite sure Tascam is not up to date with that or whatever the case may be um but i do know and i can confirm the motu m series interface uh does support the multi output so if you have the motu m2 m4 or the m6 i have the m6 it has uh audio out one and two and three and four it supports that it read on the ipad without a problem and switching out interfaces just unplugging the usb and plugging it back in on your usb dongle or however you're interfacing on your ipad it works seamlessly just like that it will stop your audio but you hit play again and it'll pick it right back up <clears throat> just to let you guys know on that part right there and everything that we did today um if you pay attention to the uh the cpu meter um and everything the cpu meter is very very low man so um that's a really really uh good feat you know what i'm saying um for as um you know the session so now we could cut vocals if we want to um and audio recording ain't gonna do oh yeah i turned it down my bad i forgot i had the automation on there <laughs> all right cool deal so um yeah um we're gonna run that back again yeah so audio tracks is not really gonna do anything um and everything like that um or whatnot and even with these multi tracks that you have on the drums and stuff like that you know what I'm saying you still got room to do your vocal recording and everything like that because uh if we do that right there you got all of these tracks here and then you can start doing your vocal recording right there and keep everything you know what I'm saying cohesiveness so um I told I know I was gonna get the hell up out of here, but you know, like I said, you know, you just create your audio track. Uh, let's say you want to come in mono uh, again, mono, change your audio input, model twelve, boom, there you go, right there, and then you drag that down. Let's say you want that down right there, go there, and uh, just hit right there, and uh, you can hear my voice. That's the input monitoring. If you don't want to do that just take it off and you start recording you know what i'm saying so that's how easy it is right there and stuff like that so uh yeah man so um i hope this hopefully this stream was uh useful for you um if you just finding out about logic pro uh, ipad i'm quite sure um you're catching up memorial day weekend and everything like that um you know logic pro released uh last week and everything so um you know, it's a pretty good uh, doll. I'm not going to say it's the holy grail or everything. I wish Nano Studio supported audio tracks. Uh, I probably would have been using that. Uh, Nano Studio goes hard. I like it. Um, but this has more of a desktop doll feel, uh, as I mentioned uh, a couple of videos before, um, but whatnot. And um, it's pretty good. It can handle a lot, too. Um, I put this over Cubasis because Cubasis is... I don't understand it. I, I tried working in it and I couldn't get the audio. I had a major latency problem with Cubasis and, uh, you know what I'm saying? It just never could get my audio to um, be latency free, so to speak. And um, Logic Pro is just, it just worked out the box like that. Aurea Pro is really good too. Um, but, you know, again, it's not a two-way system. This is a two-way system. When I say two-way system, you can do MIDI and audio seamlessly. And um, that's what it is right there, man. So I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, man. Appreciate everyone commenting. Uh, person that's watching right now, SLP, uh, ground sound music, man. I'm going to have to go check you out on YouTube and stuff like that, man. Appreciate you for tuning in and interacting. Um, you know what I'm saying? That type of uh, interaction really helps the channel go and uh, move forward and everything like that um, and do what it do and everything. So, um, yeah, we uh, have been in the yo your boy super mario and everything like that uh the next live stream we do is gonna be in able to live <laughs> that's my cue to hurry up and stop talking or whatnot man but um the next thing we do um <clears throat> as far as the live stream is concerned is uh gonna be in able to live um we're gonna check out a new instrument called drift in the new update the 11.3 update 
Uh, of course, y'all found out that Push 3 released last week as well. Uh, so we'll be checking out. Uh, I don't have the Push 3, by the way. You know what I'm saying? If you're trying to get the Push 3, it's all sold out. It's only available on the Ableton, uh, Ableton.com um, or the Ableton site or whatnot. Uh, they're sold out. Pre-orders are sold out. Um, they out. And there's not even, they, they didn't even release this on Sweetwater, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know what was up with that and what Ableton was trying to do. But uh, they did release a new update to the software itself. Uh, so be on the lookout. It may be an Ableton 12 coming out here pretty soon um, or whatnot. And also, to be honest with you, Ableton may come to iOS. They already have Ableton Note. You understand what I'm saying? On iOS. You could do... You can, you can make some tracks in there and you can upload those tracks. So I wouldn't be surprised if they start updating that, man. So um, this next rest of the year, the next rest of the months or whatnot, excuse me, in the year, um, it's going to be interesting with the iOS environment. It died down a little bit, but Logic Pro picked it back up. And Logic Pro set the bar for Nano Studio, Cubasis, Aria Pro, Zen Beats, uh, the core gadget situation. All of those little iOS dolls that were bullshitting with different features that was missing, Logic Pro just set the bar for that. And so they're going to try to scratch their heads like, how the fuck? You know what I'm saying? For real. So that's my cue right there to get the hell up on out of here, man. You've been in the boy with your boy. <laughs> You've been in the yo with your boy, man. It's music keep starting over or whatnot, man. So we're going to get up out of here, man. We had fun tonight and uh, learned a lot and everything like that. Hopefully you find this video enjoyable. Uh, useful, resourceful, and everything like that. Stay creative, and uh, we're going to get up out of here, man. Y'all have a blessed one, and uh, catch you on the next live stream, man.